Choose a talent. And we're we'll back. Haven't gotten to play this map yet tonight. One of the more swingier the maps. Uh, well, swingy in the way that the first team to get the objective pretty much wins. Um, of course, there's a lot of fighting over the objective still, and it's it's kind of well earned. Uh, but a lot of times, if your teammates just don't respond, Battle then there's seven. like mm -hmm. if seconds. your team just doesn't go for the objective, you you just lose. Um, so Five. this one really counts Four. a lot on teamwork. So we'll Three. see how our team does. Two. One. Let the battle begin. Just spilled a little water on my pants. So we'll see what our opponents are up to. We've got an Abathur in this game. I haven't gotten to play a whole lot of games with Abathur. I haven't played any for myself, rather. Uh, but I haven't gotten to play a whole lot against him either. He seems super strong, but pretty complicated as well. I'm not even sure exactly how he works. Uh, I looked at his abilities in the shop for a little bit, uh, but I didn't get much done. Alright, I thought that guy was top. Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to go top to get this XP. And he switched down to middle. Being in a solo lane with Nova's not great, once again, uh, just because she can't really clear minion waves that quickly. I can't have health Diablo by just walking away. So we've got that. Thought he was going to throw his hook there, so I threw my decoy down to try and block it. And that super late hook came out that I don't even know what it was aiming for. <laughs> And I put my cloak in the wrong spot. Uh, I just got a uh, super comboed there. Stood myself into the range of a wall. Diablo just came out and stuck it in me. I was not playing around Diablo very well at all. I'm gonna go ahead and go up here and capture this mercenary camp. Uh, see if we can't get us a a little lead in the lanes. Choose a talent. Initiating assault. Acknowledged. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the life steal Heroes. this time. Sometimes I like to pick up the poison just for the extra burst. An ally has been I feel slain. like the sustained fighting might be a little better in this matchup. Against their beefy dudes with Stitches, Diablo, Alfurion, and Tyrant providing some heals. It could possibly let me uh, capture some mercenary. Mercenary camps easier. Other than these guys, that you can dodge everything. in here and sneak a snipe. Oh, they decide to back off. Alright. So we're looking good. Uh, we're down one on the little collectibles. Uh, I think our team should be able to rally Let's up and get the next one. Camp. It didn't look like we made too much of an effort for that first one. I know I was a bit out of it. Came up shortly after I got demolished by that Diablo. I believe some tribute is in order. We're at 
to go up to that tribute. More important than the mercenaries. Choose a talent. Or Abathur. I'm not sure how much work he's doing. It's hard to tell at the moment. Strictly business. Uh, that did not turn out well. I thought I had another second or two. That's why I stopped middle and tried to clear a couple of things because I didn't think it actually had spawned yet. But apparently my timing was off, and now I'm fucked. Yeah, there's no way I could get out of the CC if Diablo and Stitch was put together. It's kind of weird how as soon as they go into the fog, if you still have vision of them, you lose your vision of their horse, so they're just like flying around. If we lose one more of those objectives, we're not going to be in good shape. A hero has left the battle. Who shall hurry, my favor? Our just left. A hero has rejoined hey, the back. battle. All right, so maybe just a little bit of connection issues. I don't know if we actually win this two v two. I couldn't tell if Stitches had already used his hook, so I was trying to back off and run around. Couldn't do anything about that curse. We just already had the XP lead, and we're just splitting us over the map. Really hard to get to it at that point, especially with the beefy CC of Stitches and Diablo both backing up their team. We're gonna try and keep this wave off of our tower. The enemy has destroyed a fort. Oh, got knocked off my mount somehow. Those two together are just so hard to deal with. Massive amounts of CC and super beefy. Sorry, Diablo's able to pick up one of them. I doubt he's going to be able to get away from the stitches. Can't kill me that easily. On it. An ally has been slain. Unfortunately, our Tyrant decided to go AFK. Uh, didn't even leave, so we don't have as much as of an AI as an AI, rather. Don't even have that. Not quite able to kill Nova there. An enemy has been slain. Standing on the edges of the fight until we could actually get in there. Now we should be able to get this golem. So that's a uh, it's a pretty good comeback steal for us. That golem is going to be super effective, but unfortunately we're still down a man. If we had the AI for you know five v five, the AI is not actually terrible in this game, so you don't just die. Like it doesn't just. Uh, so that actually would have been a big help. Well, this guy's an asshole. Slain. So it's gonna be really hard to take this win. Strictly business. Preparing. We're gonna take this mercenary camp before we head down. Hopefully it'll get us some push top. Uh, either bring one of our opponents up there or 
At least just put a bunch of pressure. They're gonna have to go eventually. And then we'll head back down bottom and help out. Circle around these guys. And head back. Not gonna be able to make it that one in time. Unfortunately, it spawned about as far away as it could from me. Not gonna be able to get across the map in that time. But we've got a couple more to fight over, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Flipped him out of my snipe. Should still be able to get him pretty easily though. If not, I can throw my triple tap down on him, but it's not a problem. See some mercenaries beating down in the middle. An enemy has been slain. Once again, Nova's not a fantastic wave clearer, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And the tribute is spawning up here. So maybe we'll finally get one. We do still have mercenaries coming in on our bottom. We're gonna have to a deal with those fairly battle. soon. A hero has rejoined the battle. And Ozzy will pick that up. That's good news. Uh, like we, like even if we get the curse. I don't think we're going to be in a situation where we can get massive amounts of stuff done. Uh, though we may be able to now that our Tyrant is finally back. But keeping it away from our opponents is super critical right now. An ally has been slain. Enemy slain. Killing spree. If you wish my blessings, you wasn't quite able to block that snipe, unfortunately. An ally has been slain. Thought I had a good angle on it. it was just off. Running a bit ways back just in case anybody did decide to chase. I am going back to the base. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the wounding shot increase this time. Over the the blood for blood, or whatever it's called. I do like that activation, and I, I go back between these two, uh, back and forth between these two talents. These merc mercenaries definitely hurt. Super hard to solo, especially as Nova. Uh, if you're playing somebody like Murden or something like that, you can solo this camp pretty well. You lose a bit of life, but not a huge deal. I don't even know if uh, Nova can solo clear those without dying. Probably with this this regen gem or the uh, the life steal talent. But it's definitely not easy. Oh god! And Nova pops out. Really got to be more aware of the area. Try and scan it for potential invisible units. Because Nova can turn the tides of things super fast. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. My teammates do have a pretty good follow-up, though. We need to get some work up here since they grabbed that goal. And they've got another round of mercenaries coming in. That's no good. What is our Tyrant doing so deep in there? Lost some time, but... Probably could've bought that time and still been alive as well. At least we got the Golem down. Oh, 
but triple shot can't even kill a half health stitches. To be fair, he devoured in the middle of it, but still. Really gotta get these mercenaries out of here. I would much rather kill these guys that are destroying our base than chase a Malfurion, who's probably dead anyway. Probably. Yeah. yeah, getting that Grave Golem down bottom would definitely help us out. Yeah, a snipe with that improved 30% damage is pretty big. Saw that hit for about 970 or so, almost a thousand damage. Not bad at all. So they've got those mercenaries incoming on us. Not gonna be good. Gonna have to clear those. Eventually. Right now we've got a bit of a fight over this. Don't have my triple tap for another 10 seconds though. In the meantime, we take out stitches. It looks like we might actually be able to get this for once. I don't remember if the curse makes mercenaries at one health too. No, it does not. So those mercenaries are actually going to do a good bit of work, unfortunately. Flipped him out of my snipe again. At least it's not too big of a deal this time. Still take him out. And we're going to be... Our minions took out a fort top as well. We man being this fort bottom. While that outer tower is still up. Back. Now we get our fast reload while triple taps up at a 70 seconds left. On the side. misses his hook by a long shot. The enemy has destroyed the keep. We're just a bit late on finishing this off while the curse was still up, but we should be able to get it anyway. Possibly not this tower. Oh, I did forget how fast Illidan takes down towers. Pretty fast. And if we get this great goal, we might be in a pretty damn good position. And this turnaround coming from stealing that great golem earlier was large. And the team finally being able to focus on the curse objectives. Let us capture this mercenary camp. Take this mercenary camp. So it's our team pinging about up there. They want to steal the opponent's grave golem as well. Seems a bit risky right now, to be honest. I don't know if that's what I would go for, especially with the entire end down bottom. <clears throat> yeah, that was not a great idea. An ally has been slain. Kind of needed all five people if we were going to do that plan, and we were obviously not five there. Gonna go ahead and take this watchtower, possibly steal that mercenary camp if nobody's coming down. Our opponents did get the Grave Golem top, but they're also gonna have to come bottom and stop this one that we have. Who can gather this one? 
need to get that objective out of our opponent's hand, but I feel awful dropping a mercenary camp in the middle of it. Deal some deeps. Bit more than I had thought. They don't all have to capture at the same side. Here we go back for the golem. So it doesn't completely destroy everything in our base ever. Speed here. Has been slain. So this should help out. Mm -hmm. yeah, we stopped it from getting the fort at least. Definitely would have been able to get the fort and the tower if we weren't here. Now I don't need to be ready for that next objective. Probably be coming up pretty soon. I don't know the exact timer on it. I didn't see when we got the last one. Need to get that next one. But if we get cursed again, we probably just lose the game. Right now, teams are one and one on curses. Over a fairly long game, uh, usually around the 20-minute mark, things are wrapping up. I don't think we're quite done yet here. Shot down under the Nova. Nice. So I got the reset as well. Yeah, once you get the reset, you may as well keep using it. Unfortunately, we got cursed. But it was after we just killed a number of our opponents. that Diablo to kill his friend. Lined it up so all three shots hit stitches. Diablo uses his teleport to get away. That's alright. We'll just go ahead and take this tower. We're actually losing a lot bottom just to minions uh, due to how weak everything is from that curse. But we're making huge ground mid. And... Our opponents are still down for another couple of seconds. And we can go ahead and capture the mer mercenaries. Uh, stayed a bit too long there, guys. An ally has been slain. We'll go ahead and hide in the crevices here. Just go back. If we can get this grave golem again. I believe we'll be able to just basically ride that to victory. If our opponents get it though, we're they'll do the same. Uh, 
that's the way to do it. Wait until you can get a good shot and take out their carry. Oh man, the resets, the resets taste so good. Well done. So our team's getting hit a little bit bottom with the mercenaries. We're gonna have to clear that out before they just hop straight onto the palace. But me and Illidan are gonna be able to take this down pretty easily. Not too much hassle involved. Now I'm gonna go take these guys out, because they actually stand outside of the range of the palace. Your palace is under attack. Pretty brutal. The enemy has been slain. The Raven Lord demands tribute. A hero has left the battle. A this hero is, uh, has left the battle. This is quite the game here. An enemy has been slain. A hero has say. rejoined the battle. So we're gonna go ahead and max out on our mana here, since we're so close by. And then head back out. Might go ahead and go down bottom and just assist our group goal. I don't think I'll be able to make it up to the top objective in time. An enemy has been slain. And we can just uh, give that up and let our opponents have one while we make some headway down here. An enemy has been slain. Our team's actually winning that fight. An enemy has been slain. Team kill. Wow, so we just aced the opponent team. Wow. I suppose we are quite up a, f a few levels now. Keep so it does make sense. An enemy has been slain. We'll just walk this grave golem right into their base. And Finish off the game. It was already finishing off without the Grave Golem, I suppose. Victory. That was a turnaround. <laughs> Good game.